Hello guys, in this screencast we are going to learn how to use uh, SVN client, in more specifically Tortoise SVN client. SVN is a version controlling system that means multiple developers working on multiple coding files, you know, they can share their code much more easily and the code is properly versioned so that it, at, at any time if you want to revert back to your previous version you can always do that. And the reason why we are enforcing this system is that all the code eventually is available on our server at any moment and we can look at the code anytime. Also based on how many times we commit we have a clear idea of who is working regularly and who is not. Please download the SVN client from the tortoisesvn.net website. It's free and after downloading you have to just restart your system. <coughs> Once you have installed the SVN client, uh, go to your explorer or desktop somewhere, just right click and then you will see two extra items that is SVN checkout and Tortoise SVN. Now uh, in the next screen uh, screencast we will give you a tutorial about the project management system that we have developed and which you will be using. Now that system will give you a checkout URL, a username and a password which you will have to keep very secret. Once you click on SVN checkout, it will ask for that URL. Provide it there and click on OK. Once you do that, it is going to ask you for your username and password and that took twice. Now you can see that while checking out it shows the which were the files that were downloaded from the remote server and what is the version number. If you are checking out for the first time this version number has to be 0. Now a new folder uh, with the repository name is created in your explorer. And you can open it and now you can see the code file. There are two files. This green icon indicates that the file is up to date. Now all the up to date files will have this green tick mark. If you modify that file, this green icon will turn to red which means you have modified the file but not yet committed it to the server. If you add a new file, remember just making a new file is not enough. creating the file you have to say right click and SVN edit add only now it is added to the version controlling system or rather when you commit next it will be added to the version controlling system see the fi uh, files which are added will have this plus icon against that you can go out and right click and say commit when you say commit the code will be saved on the server please remember that you are supposed to Commit the code when you achieved a significant part of your coding objective that is you have coded a class or you have fixed a bug or you have reached a milestone. You are not supposed to commit arbitrarily any time. Or maybe when you are working in the lab, every time you leave the lab, you just commit the code and say lab 4 and I did so such and such thing in this lab session. When you commit, it asks for a comment. This comment has to be very meaningful. give a meaningful command say ok now the code is will be transferred to the server
has uh, transferred the file which was modified it has transferred the file which was added it has not transferred the file which was not modified and the revision is incremented by one the uh, code is properly saved onto the server now when you go to hostel you can check out again and you get the latest source code you can check in the hotel or hostel you can come back to the lab and this click click on sbn update and the latest code will be downloaded from the repository if no one has many more made any modifications it will tell you so For us, versioning control is also the backup system. You know, all the projects in our server, we take the regular back backup of our server, and in a long term, all the projects that students will do will be available on our server. And that's the main reason why we are introducing or why we are enforcing that you should use SVN. <coughs> it might appear that SVN is merely file sharing system. That is not the case. SVN is a very complex system. you can do many things with sbn and it is certainly out of scope for this particular screen cast you can definitely explore on your own this the objective of this screen cast was to give a very basic overview of sbn in the next screen cast we are going to introduce you to the project management system that we have developed at e yantra and there you will get credentials for the sbn thank you